Hello and welcome to another edition of Conspirator Rock's Pull List. This is my Pull List of the Week of, oh, uh, August 4th. Uh, I'm recording this a little late uh, due to the fact that our shipment was delayed. Uh, we didn't actually release books until Thursday because um, we were processing them all day on Wednesday. And so, uh, yeah, basically what um, happened was there was a delay in the shipment for Lunar and there was a delay in the shipment for Diamond. So because of that, we couldn't release books till Thursday. So my video was delayed because I was working all day Thursday and Friday had some stuff to do. Uh, Saturday I was busy and so the first day I could record it is Sunday. So you guys are getting this a little late. I'm sorry, but it's also a decent sized week this week. Uh, and as most of you know, Suicide Squad dropped uh, on Friday the uh, 6th. So uh, if you have not yet watched it, I recommend it. It's good. Next, so let's get up to what we got going on for this week. First up we have uh the last book in the american vampire 1976 uh series and uh is book 10 can't wait to see where it goes how it ends uh i hope this isn't the end of american vampire uh, but i have been used to taking breaks with the series but if you have not yet checked out american vampire uh, by scott snyder you should stuff next up is basilisk number three <clears throat> um, i have not read issue two yet uh, so who knows if it's fallen off. Uh, I, one was interesting enough, so I'm going to keep going with it. But I do need to get caught up on uh, 2 and 3. Next up is Batman 111. Um, I'm like 4 issues or 5 issues behind on Batman right now. Uh, I need to get caught up. But uh, everyone's loving it. They're saying it's great. Uh, it's it's uh, t Tiny in the 4th, so it can't be bad, right? Next up is Com Steve Orlando's Commanders in Crisis number 11. Uh, this is... the um, been okay of a series I'm not you know I'm not I try and get through it uh, whenever it comes in it's not that it's bad um, I just find it's a little heavy-handed at some points um, I know what it's trying to do and I think it does okay at some points but not at others uh, overall it's just okay I'm gonna finish it up um, but most likely it's gonna be on the purge pile so uh, next up is another stop book and that's crime syndicate number six of six uh, if uh, you have not uh, yet checked out Crime Syndicate, uh, you should. I, I read the first two issues. It was good. I can't wait to finish the last four, but hey, who knows. Next up is Crush and Lobo, number three of eight. Uh, I read the first two issues finally. Um, I enjoyed them, so yeah, you should check it out. Uh, it's Lobo's in prison right now, so we'll see what happens with that. Next up is The Conjuring, uh, or DC Horror, The Conjuring, The Lover, number three of five. I read the first issue, liked it, um, so I'm going to check out the next two once I finally get to sitting down and reading. Um, I'm still not a full long box yet, but this week might push me over or to a full long box, but I've been trying. I've been trying to read them. Next up is another final book, and that's the number 12 of The Dreaming Waking Hours. I've enjoyed this series. It's been good, set in the Sandman universe. Um, and yeah, if you haven't checked it out, it's, it's written really, really well. Uh, G. Willow Wilson did a good job on this story arc and I can't wait to finish it. Next up is Geiger number five. Um, I'm a handful of issues behind on Geiger. Uh, from what I've read though, I've enjoyed it. Jeff Johns uh, is setting the setting up a new world in this indie book he's doing with Gary Frank and uh, I'm in for it, so we'll see. Next up is Green Lantern number five. Um, a couple issues behind on it, but I've been enjoying the Green Lantern or Green Lantern so far, so we'll see what happens. Uh, looks like, uh, what's her name? I uh, can't remember, Joe, whatever. Uh, it's going up against a lot of yellow lanterns on this cover. Uh, next up is a book that um, I like because I like the seri a video game series, but, you know, it's not going to be on everybody's lists. But uh, it's Horizon Zero Dawn Liberation number one. Uh, there's going to be a bunch of variants in the variant pile because uh, I had to get them all because, you know, I like Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, so, yeah. So, uh, curious to see what this one is about. The original one that came out was okay. Um, it just was an, another story. I don't think the storytelling was as good as some of the storytelling I've seen in the game, but it's nice to still be in that universe and getting in, um, stories from it. Next up is a new number one, uh, and that's the from just DC regular. So uh, it is The Joker Presents a Puzzle Box. Uh, so I'm curious to see what this one is all about. Um, it's Joker. We have a Joker book. We have another Joker book. So hmm, we'll see. Uh, next up is Justice League number 66. Uh, Bendis is apparently destroying the Justice League. So, you know, we'll see what happens with that. 
Uh, next up is uh, Justice League Infinity, the animated uh, cartoon version comic book for kids. Um, uh, I, did I read the first issue? I don't remember if I read the first issue, but eh, we'll see. It's got, it's got Overman in it. How can it not be? Uh, next up is a new number one from Scotty Young, um, and it's uh, an image title, and it's The Me You Love in the Dark. Uh, we've had, we've noticed this uh, trend of having long, longer titles in books, uh, and this is playing on that, and the next book's going to be playing on that, but uh, I'm curious to see how this pans out, um, but we'll see. Next up is another uh, Tiny in the Fourth book, and that's The Nice House on the Lake. Uh, this is issue three. I have not yet even attempted to read it. I need to sit down, plow through it, and but I hear it's good. Uh, next up is one that probably a lot of people missed because it's not a regular, or it's a very, it's an independent comic book publisher, uh, so it's not necessarily on a lot of people's radar, but it's Mark Russell, so I picked it up, and that's a book called Not All Robots. Uh, it's from AWA Upshot, uh, but yeah, Mark Russell, come on, gotta read Mark Russell stuff. Um, yeah, I'm curious. It's Mark Russell. We'll see where it goes. Next up is another one from, an, uh, that people, I, I read Luna by Maria Levette. Um, it was okay. So I'm going to give a try to, uh, Porcelain. Uh, this is by, a, from a Blaze Comics. Uh, we'll see. Um, I normally try and give it a, a certain creators a try. Uh, Luna was okay. Uh, I didn't necessarily, like, it wasn't, it didn't blow me away, but it was, uh, it was, it was just okay. Next up, I believe, is the last issue of the series, and that's Sensational Woman or Woman number six. There's a lot of last books in this pile, but hey, what can you do? Uh, I've been enjoying it. It's good. Next up is Seven Secrets number 11. I'm a couple issues behind, but I'm going to get caught up with the Seven Secrets stuff. Tom Taylor's just knocking it out of the park with what he's doing, and so yeah. Next up is Skybound number we go, five. Uh, I haven't even touched number one. It comes out weekly. I'll have to just sit down and read it all at once in just one big chunk and go, but we'll get there. Next up is Stillwater, number nine. Uh, Stillwater is really good. I've been enjoying it. Chip Zdarsky has done a fantastic job establishing this town that cannot die world. Um, really interesting. Uh, next up, because it wouldn't be the week Suicide Squad is coming out without Suicide Squad stuff. So we have Suicide Squad, Suicide Squad number six is out this week. Uh, I've been enjoying um, this series so far. It's been really, really good. Thompson's been doing a good job on it. And then there's a new Black Label book by Brian Azzarello, <clears throat> and that's Suicide Squad, Get Joker. Uh, so we have another one of these lovely magazine, Lee Odd-sized books that I'm going to set over here. <laughs> um, we'll see. I like Brian Azzarello. Um, he can push the envelope a little bit with the Black Label stuff, so we'll see where it goes. Next up is, uh, apparently there's Swamp Thing, in, or sorry, Swamp Thing number 6 of 10, but there's Suicide Squad in this issue as well, so... But Ram V is knocking out of the park. If you have not yet read Swamp Thing, you seriously need to get on it. It's good stuff. And finally on my pull list is Walking Dead number 20. Um, I'm creeping up to having four trades worth of stuff to read in the deluxe versions, which are uh, colored. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to sit down. I'm going to read it. It should go fairly quickly when I read um, the Walking Dead graphic novels. It was, I would virtually finish one in an hour, uh, a little over an hour, just depending on how much dialogue was in it. Uh, but yeah, I'm kind of just holding back, I think, just to, honestly, I have way too much to read. But hey, that's a good thing, right? Uh, next up, we will have the variant covers for this week. First up, we have one for Batman 111. I snagged that one up. Batman 111 had a 1 in 25, so I decided to pick that one up. Uh, and it also had a Suicide Squad variant with Ratcatcher 2, Harley, and Polka Dot Man on it. This cover is really, really awesome. Um, Crime Syndicate had uh, 6 had a Doc Shaner variant that I picked up there. Crush and Lobo, number 3, had a pretty cool variant, so I snagged that one up. Geiger, of course, had its wonderful 4 variant, or four, 3 extra variants, so I grabbed each one of those. There's the cover B. Cover C, and the other Gary Frank cover D. So, uh, Green Lantern number five had a Suicide Squad cover, and this one featured a bunch of the little Star Rose, Polka Dot Man, The Thinker, and Javelin. Uh, so, yeah. Now we're up to the Horizon Zero Dawn uh, covers. Uh, I am actually missing cover, I believe, 
this is two, three, four, five. I think I'm missing six and eight. Let me double check because there was two that were that were either damaged or we were shorted. Yeah, so this is seven. So I'm missing six and eight. So I will go through these real quick. So the wraparound cover is cover B. So snag that one. Um, cover C is pretty cool. Cover there. We got to cover D. And then E. F is the one we're missing. Uh, and the blank as well. That was the other one that was missing. But this is um, E. F. So this is G. So I'll grab the, the G cover. It's the sketch cover there. So, <clears throat> yep. Yeah. But I love Horizon Zero Dawn, so I'm a sucker for all those variants. <clears throat> Joker Presents, a puzzle box, had a pretty cool variant for issue one, so I snagged that one up. Not all robots had the wonderful homage cover there. <clears throat> and we have Sensational Wonder Woman had a pretty cool variant, so I snagged that one up. Seven Secrets had a pretty good one for issue 11, so I, I grabbed that as well. Suicide Squad had a blood sport cover for its variant. And then a one for the team, which has Rick Flagg, Amanda Waller, and Peacekeeper on it. And then we have a variant for Suicide Squad Get Joker. I decided to grab. So that's that. And then Swamp Thing number six had. I This is its variant. I'm assuming it's. They, they didn't have a Suicide Squad variant cover, but this is the uh, variant cover that has Suicide Squad characters on it. So, yeah, it's I think it's just because they're in the issue. But <clears throat> those are the variants for this week. Um, I did grab a couple of graphic novels this week. I move some stuff over. Um, the first one I grabbed was uh, The Death of Captain America um, Omnibus. But this isn't really an omnibus. Um, it's issues 25 to 42, which is 17 issues. And it's this tiny. And it's 75 bucks. Very, very dis disappointing with the size of this omnibus. The, the, the Brubaker stuff needs to be collected in a really good omnibus size thing. But this is kind of just isolating out that Death of Captain America stuff. Um, and so, yeah, um, it's good stuff. I like it, but I'm not happy with the omnibus size, uh, <clears throat> especially with, uh, wanting to collect all of the Brubaker, uh, cap stuff, which they are supposed to be releasing those, but who knows at this point. Um, but yeah, kind of disappointing. Uh, one that uh, I got another omnibus and this, I know it's from Marvel and another omnibus from Marvel. Uh, I finally decided to grab the Amazing Spider-Man McFarland, uh, McFarland stuff, uh, with, you know, which has that wonderful, or which is issues 296 to 329, uh, with material from the Spectacular Spider-Man Annual number 10. Um, and yeah, it's all these wonderful pages there. So it's got the issue 300, it's got all that wonderful McFarland art. So yeah, I'm finally, I'm going to maybe attempt to read this stuff, but yeah. And then I got some toys. And these are the first McFarlane figures I purchased. Um, but I purchased them uh, because, one, it's a group I like. Two, it builds a cool figure. And three, um, I pretty much want to say I'm kind of a sucker for this stuff at this point. But, you know, hey. Uh, but I did get the Suicide Squad McFarlane toys, uh, which do build the King Shark figure. Uh, so figure one in the series is Polka Dot Man. Uh, the boxes are pretty basic uh, and good straightforward. But uh, yeah, we got Polka Dot Man in there. And the uh, head and I want to say, what the heck? It's something. It's the middle part. It's, it's the head and this part. So for King Shark. So yeah. The next person we got is uh, <clears throat> Bloodsport. Uh, he's the second build of the figure. Bloodsport's a really cool character in actually the movie, and you should check it out. 
but uh, it's this is the front and back of his torso pieces come with this one so that's pretty cool right there the next one we got is peacekeeper is number three this one's hefty because these his arms are pretty hefty but it's got both of the arms and that's the peacekeeper right there so yeah pretty cool stuff and finally we have uh, the Harley Quinn in her red dress with Javelin uh, Javelin's Javelin uh, and then she comes with the basically bottom half so instead of doing the leg separate they just did one whole uh, leg piece for King Shark uh, so yeah so there's the back wonderful wonderful stuff uh, <clears throat> yeah I watched the movie I liked it it was enjoyable there were certain things about it that I didn't necessarily care for um, but overall, I think it is a fairly good movie, very, very solid movie. It's entertaining. Um, it's, it, it, it gives you a decent story and it doesn't, um, really kind of, it, it does a good thing of giving character development. Uh, I really liked Bloodsport. I really liked Polka Dot Man. Um, you know, I really liked the characters that they dove, dove into, uh, Harley, I think they they brought her back from the weirdness of um, uh, Birds of Harley Quinn and the Bird and the Emancipation. The, uh, Harley Quinn and the Birds of Prey, basically, let's just call it. Uh, uh, yeah, so basically, I liked her more in this. It was more in line with what we got from uh, the original Suicide Squad movie. Uh, yes, I know people are out there saying we need the air cut, and I do think we do need the air cut, especially since, um, you know, Warner Brothers had butchered things so badly with Snyder's cut, or Snyder's version of it. I mean, even though I'm not a huge Snyder fan, um, his extended version of Batman versus Superman and his Justice League version are much better films um, than what we got in the theaters. And so, yeah, it's, I really wish we would get what David Ayer really wanted us to see with that Suicide Squad movie. Um, because I feel a lot of it, a lot of it was studio stuff that really kind of just butchered the film. Anyway, uh, they're doing something on April, or August 13th, uh, where you can tweet out hashtag, uh, release the air cut. Uh, so I'm probably going to be participating a little bit in that as well. I'm not super crazy about it, but hey, it would be nice to get, uh, his version of the film. Um... But that, that's pretty much it. Go watch Suicide Squad. It's out uh, on streaming on HBO Max and in theaters. I did not go to the theaters because uh, even though I am vaccinated, um, I don't really want to be exposed to people and around people, um, especially in contained environments uh, for, you know, that period of time. Yeah, better safe than sorry, in my opinion. Anyway. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, you can leave your comments down in the comment section below. Let me know what you're picking up. Let me know what you thought of the Suicide Squad. Let me know, uh, you know, anything, questions, all that stuff. Be nice. Internet's a shitty place to begin with, another, so let's keep it nice here. Uh, you can listen to me as well on the Comics Conspiracy Podcast. Uh, we recorded, I think, episode 510. Don't quote me on it, but it'll, there'll be a link in the description below for that. We changed our schedule up. We no longer are going to be recording on Tuesday nights. Uh, it was just being coming too chaotic with um, uh, the new releases coming out and so on and so forth. So we are switching to a Monday-Sunday alternating schedule, uh, which will most likely pan out to being just Mondays at some point. But we'll see. Um, so we're going to talk about Suicide Squad this evening. Um and that'll be up this week, so you can listen to more of me talking about it there. Uh, and there'll be a link in the description below uh, for that in next week's video um, for that upcoming episode. But the previous episode we recorded on Monday, that'll be on this one. So, you can help me and my fellow conspirators out through Patreon at www.patreon.com slash comicsconspiracy. For as little as a dollar a month, you help us with hosting fees, getting products, which thank you very much, it helps. And we, uh, it helps us just, you know, if you can engage us there, ask questions, and we will most likely answer them on the podcast. So, you know, your, your little support goes a long way. Thank you, guys. Um, you can also help me out a little more directly by going to any of the Amazon, Amazon links here or at conspiratorbrock.com. Um, and you can uh, head over to my eBay page. There's a link in the description below uh, for that where I'm constantly getting rid of stuff. Um, I'm 
going on a small vacation uh, for myself for my birthday um, this coming I'm leaving Thursday uh, and I'll be back next uh, Tuesday the following Tuesday uh, and so I'm just trying to take some time off so yeah I don't think that should affect the videos but um, who knows so uh, yeah but um, uh, I'll have some new stuff coming out uh, the Monday Monday while I'm still gone um, I'm stuff's going to drop on there but I'm scared like I scheduled out some stuff because since I'm leaving I don't want to have to worry about getting stuff shipped out but uh, I do have some stuff dropping the day before I get back so um, yeah so you can check it out there uh, you can follow me on Twitter my handle is at Brock Saker and that's pretty much it so uh, sorry again for the delay this week and uh, hope everyone's doing well and everybody's safe and get vaccinated see you next week